Hi and welcome to another random talk. I'm not really sure how I want to start or end this video in any way. It's just lately the big thing that's been going on, except for the big talk about um, suicide forest and shit. Um, it's been a big talk about suicides. Uh, and I guess I just want to sh share my personal experience. So, growing up, I lived in orphanage, and um, then with my mom, and then later on... Um, in my teens, I ended up in a youth facility, um, and I met so many incredible persons, and uh, one of them became a really close friend to me and my siblings. He was even in a relationship with my a younger sister for a while and um, I don't know he was uh, he was a part of the family that we choose uh, like there's blood and then there's family and he was family so yeah, he was a big part of my life. I spent uh, midsummer and uh, stuff with him. We had a good relationship. He was a really close friend. And um, then a few years back, he decided that he couldn't take the pain the pain that was in him and his life anymore and he committed suicide by hanging himself to the oh god what's the English word uh, element um, the heater thing that's on the wall he tied, he tied himself to that and then he leaned forward so he couldn't breathe and just kept leaning forward until he was dead. And the thing is... I, I get his pain, I get his feeling of wanting to just end the pain. <clears throat> but what I don't get is why, like, he had good friends, he had an amazing mom, he had... He had so much, but he never shared his pain. He never shared his problems or issues. And it's really, really, really sad for us, not just me, my siblings, him, other people from the same facility we were all so shocked because he could have talked it to any one of us like saying anything just hinting or but he nothing it came as a complete shock and He, 
he was brilliant, he was smart, he was funny, he was a good person and um, it was sad it went that way. And I know there's a lot of people out there feeling that way. I know sometimes I feel that way too. Uh, depressed and like nothing matters there's nothing but then I realize it won't be better like it's really not the answer and if you are in that place if you're in a dark place and you feel like nothing and there's nothing there you should really like contact one of the hotlines there are so many it's different for every country but there's so many hotlines and there's so much help and in the end in the age we live now you're never alone and I just wanted to bring that up that you're never alone. And even if I still haven't accepted what happened, even if it's been years, (coughs) he's still everything for me. And I know he's still everything for my siblings. Um, I don't know. (laughs) Thank you and have a good night.